There are several ways of sterilizing the equipment you're going to use. This is very important because there are no preservatives in the tea. You can either put everything into the steamer for 20 minutes, or else you can put the jugs and the bottles into the oven again for 20 minutes and boil the sieve and the spoon and the bottle tops. Sterilize all the utensils, either in a steamer for 20 minutes or by boiling the tops, sieve and spoon and heating the jugs and bottles in the oven at 150 degrees centigrade or 300 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark too. Never, never use bleach or any other harsh chemicals for sterilizing any of the equipment. If you don't have an oven or a steamer, you can use one of the sterilizing solutions like Milton for cleaning baby bottles. This is where you have to pay attention because we're going to heat it to steaming hot, not boiling. We never reboil the tea. Now you can see that the herbs are beginning to bubble. Keep watching the pan. There. Now it's hot and steaming but not boiling. Remove it from the heat and let it stand for a few minutes to allow the herbs to settle. Using oven gloves or a clean tea towel, take out the bottles and the jugs one by one and stand them on a heat-proof surface on the table. Now lift the lid on the tea. You will see that the herbs are beginning to settle. Using the smaller jug, carefully scoop up the tea, taking care to disturb the sediment as little as possible and strain it through the sieve. The tea will darken slightly and the sediment will drop to the bottom of the bottle as it cools. Don't put the scooping jug down on the surface until you have finished using it for the tea. It can stand in the sterilizing pan between scoops. The sediment from the herbs can go back onto the garden. Now pour the prepared tea into the bottles, putting the lids on as soon as each bottle is full. Never filter the tea. The sediment at the bottom of each bottle is quite normal and doesn't detract from the keeping quality of the tea. You may find that the last bottle has more sediment than the others. It will soon settle down once the bottle is cold. Some people like to shake up the sediment and drink that as well. I don't, but it's a matter of personal choice. I don't like the bits between my teeth. Some sediment is normal in a bottle of Essiac tea. However, if you don't pay enough attention to the sterilizing process, or you forget about putting the bottle back in the fridge after you've been using it, you may find after four or five days, you're growing a fur ball on top of the sediment in the bottom of the bottle. It'll be quite distinct, you won't mistake it. When you take the top off the bottle, the tea will smell very rancid and it will taste disgusting. There's only one place to put it and that's in the sink. Dirty tools and forgetting the rules make mouldy tea. So let's put the rules up on the screen and go through them again. Always store the dried herbs in a cool dark place in a screw top jar. Always sterilize all the utensils. Always make sure the lids are tight on the bottles before you put them in the fridge. Never leave open bottles out of the fridge. And there are two more very important rules. Don't ever microwave the tea at any stage, not even once, and don't ever freeze it. The microwave and the freezer completely destroy all the goodness in the tea. Reen Case recommended drinking 30 ml of the tea, that is one fluid ounce, diluted in two fluid ounces of hot water, preferably at bedtime, but you can drink it first thing in the morning if it's easier. This is a 30 ml measure.
It tastes good, not bitter nor sour. It's not thick. Don't add anything else to it. Drink it like it is. Even animals like drinking it. Drink one fluid ounce, 30 ml of the tea, diluted with two fluid ounces, 60 ml of hot water, once a day at bedtime. Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Like I said, it's like riding a bicycle or driving a car. Once you know how to do it, you never forget. The internet is the best source of information about all the ESIAC related products. Just type ESIAC information into the search engines and you will find everything you need. I'm going to leave you now with some more shots from my Bracebridge photo album. Take good care now. Don't forget to have fun. <laughs>